Something's down there. Oh, look at that. That's a catfish. Wait. Look at that. Got a flathead. Flathead? <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's a flathead catfish. <laughs> Big flathead. Okay, here we go. You give him a good push. I got something weird in this net. Look at that. Bye, guys. <laughs> That's a catfish, all right. Oh, oh, look at the size of the belly on that thing. Yeah. If I try to dump them out of the net on the deck of the ship, it'll just chew them up. So we're gonna. We're gonna try to see if we can't get him out. We're all almost there. Uh. Uh. Oh gosh, that is the fattest. That is the fattest catfish I have ever seen. He is 30 pounds on the dot. That is the shortest 30 pounder I've ever seen. That is the fattest catfish I have ever seen. Look at the size of him. He is, he is not that long, and he is 30 pounds. Can't believe how fat that guy is. Woo. Oh guys, I gotta tell you, this is getting me so excited. And I rarely catch catfish in my cast net, and to catch two nice catfish in two casts tells me this spot is loaded with catfish. And I'm seeing all sorts of signs on the sonar. You can see there's bait fish and catfish all over the sonar. It's really warm today. It got up into the upper 50s after it's been so cold. And the shad and the fish are kind of shallow. They're normally down in 20, 30 feet of water. They're in like 10, 15 feet of water. So I'm gonna go back to where I uh, threw that cast net and I'm gonna set up a bunch of rods. We're gonna see what happens. We put the anchor down. Now we're gonna back the boat straight up into the wind until all the anchor line is out. Then I'm gonna drop my anchor off the back of the boat and then I'm gonna turn off the engine and tighten up both the anchor lines. Drop. I'm gonna go and tie this up to the cleat. All right, now you can turn off the engine. And we'll go tighten up that anchor line. Keep pulling up this anchor line until both the front and back anchor lines are tight as a drum. All right, I want the boat to point that way. So I'll go ahead and tie it to that anchor cleat instead of that one. All right, I got eight of these Whisker Seeker medium heavy power Chad Ferguson series casting rods. Uh, six of them are rigged up and two of them aren't. So I'm gonna bait up the six that are rigged up. I'm gonna bomb them right all over the place where I just uh, caught those catfish. And I'm gonna be using the whole shad, live shad as bait. All right. We're hooking at them about a half inch from the back, right under the dorsal fin, and we're making sure that there's no scales on our hook point. We've got an eight-aught Gamakatsu circle hook with about a 60-pound leader. Now I've got a five-ounce lead on a slider with a bead and a swivel. All right, well, those catfish were aggressively feeding on shad. So if I don't get a bite here in the next 15 minutes, I've put my gear in the wrong place and I need to pick up and move. So we're gonna put the timer on, see if we get a bite here in the next 15 minutes and I'm gonna try to rig up those other two rods while I'm at it. This little uh, Shimano rig binder is my catfishing tackle bag. I basically take all the little components and I put them on one of these little stationary binder clips. Um, and then I fill up the binder or pouches with tied up tied up rigs, snelled hooks. Got a few leads floating around. 
You know, I've got these medium heavy power whisker seeker rods and I really like them and they're nice and light. But I put the Abu Garcia Catfish Special 7000s on them and they're too big. Um, this is the Catfish Special, the 6500 series and it's just much more the right size for the medium heavy power uh, rod. The 7000 series are really more designed for the big river rods. If you know, you got a big chunky rod that's meant for throwing big leads. There was one just nibbling on that corner rod. Keep an eye on the one in the corner. Look at that, that middle one right there. Yeah, look at that. See that, Jake? This one right here, Jake. Yeah, keep reeling. Keep reeling. Yeah, there's something on there. Did he come off? What's, what's he doing? Oh, it came off. Well, the time limit has come and gone, and we got a few nibbles, but not much. I think we need to reposition the boat. I've got all the baits reeled up just a few inches below the surface and I'm just going idling speed backwards so I don't have to rebait everything. Plus I'm using live bait so it'll help keep the fish alive. Well it took a lot longer than I like to admit to get anchored up. I floundered around a bit with some crosswind. Already have one rod hung up but uh, we'll kind of just see what happens. Once again, I'm going to give it the uh, old 15 minute wait. And if we don't get a bite, then we'll talk about moving. Oh, it's moving. Let's go reel it in. Yeah, look, it's it's swimming. Oh yeah. Oh man, he's making tracks. Oh, he popped off. He must've grabbed the bait, not the hook because the rod just went twitch, twitch, whew, sideways. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Mmm, fishing fruit snacks. Well, we've been here for a little while and nothing is really happening. We had that one bite that got off and that's it. So I think we need to try something else. Should we try something else, Jacob? Mm -hmm. All right, maybe we try a little drifting for catfish. Catfish are just in kind of behaving weird. So I'm gonna try doing something weird. I've got uh, two pieces of live bait and two pieces of cut bait. On the cut bait, I'm just using the head section because it's a little bit more aerodynamic. And uh, we're just going to kind of drift over some spots. We're just going to let the wind push us about a quarter of a mile per hour, half a mile per hour. I just got to be really on it because the depths change dramatically and there's a lot of snag. So I can't drag stuff across the bottom. I got to constantly adjust the depths. So we'll see how this goes. Just drifting along with four rods just slightly off the bottom. We're going about 0.2 miles per hour, just creeping along. Look at that! Look at that! Holy crap! Jacob, Bye. do you see that? Ooh, that fish just about tore that out of the rod holder. Oh, if I had those cheap plastic rod holders, I would have lost my rod. That thing was insane. Oh, look at this! Oh, we got a big fish! Oh! Oh! oh look at this! I think I woke up the sleeping beauty here. Look at that. He inhaled that. Get in there. Get in there. Twenty-six pounds. Twenty-six pounds. Not bad. There we go. First flathead of the year. Whoa, that was insane. That thing just slammed that rod. Whew. Do you want to hold the fish? No. <laughs> okay. All right, let's put him back. Whew. We picked up that flathead just a couple dozen yards from where I caught the other flathead in the cast net. So I'm definitely going to work this area a little bit more carefully. Also didn't seem to mind the engine noise, did he? We're in only nine feet of water and we drove backwards over him with the engine first before he hit that. So they're not engine shy. <laughs> Jacob's having a good time. You know, we're constantly having to adjust the depths here. It's too high, too low. I don't drift for catfish all that often, but when the wind is the right strength in the right direction, it can, it can work out pretty well. And today it was our saving grace. What's going on down there? Hey, hey. hey, you. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope.
hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more fishing videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And if you want to see more videos from us, check out our other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, with lots of camping and blacksmithing and adventure. Bye-bye.